Hey everyone, welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. Holy crap, I, I, I look a hot mess, but <laughs> anyway, it is Sunday morning. I have been heavily working on meal planning for Christmas week. I don't, like my phone is just, okay. Anyway, <laughs> I keep my notifications on or my sound on on my phone because Jesse's not here. So if he texts or calls or whatever, I want to make sure that I answer. And normally when he's home, like my phone stays on silent 24 seven and now it's always on. Just great. So anyway, it's Sunday. I am deep in the weeds of meal planning for Christmas week. Um, I really sat here basically for the last hour focusing on that because the last thing I want to do is have to go back to the store multiple times. Like nothing annoys me more than that. So I have been going through the recipes that I got from my mom this week. And actually over the last few weeks, I just kind of kept bugging her until she gave in and gave me the recipes. But um, so I've been doing that. You can probably hear the dishwasher. I came downstairs and did like a really quick sweep of the downstairs area because I came downstairs and was like, what the F happened here? And I know what happened. We didn't do anything yesterday. We, well, for me anyway, I sat and watched like five or six episodes of The Crown. I'm determined to get to at least season two here soon. I'm loving that show. So I pretty much stayed on the couch and that is all that I did. And it was glorious because I was in a shit ton of pain yesterday. Um, and I know it's like part of the healing process, but my leg hurt so bad. I don't even know how to describe it. It's basically like a really bad, deep bruise that is healing in my groin area where they went in for my ablation. But the issue is, and I've said this in a previous video, is where it is. It is literally like in the crease of, like it's in your pelvic area down there. Um, and you don't realize how, and maybe it's just me creating a lot of um, friction. <laughs> um, and it's just very uncomfortable. And it got to a point where I, I live in a two story home. So I was going up and down the stairs. And next thing you know, I was like, I can't, like, I can't even freaking stand up. It was so frustrating. But again, I realize it's all part of the healing process. And I'm the world's most impatient person. And I don't know how to stay still. And yesterday knocked me on my ass. So that's what I did. I stayed on my ass and watched the crown. <laughs> <laughs> and didn't care what was going on with my house. We actually had brownies for dinner. It was glorious. It was glorious. It was exactly what I needed. So today, Sunday, I normally don't vlog on Sundays, but like I've mentioned before, Jesse's not here this weekend. He actually had to work, so he stayed down in Florida. I am just focusing on kind of doing a reset of my house. I don't have to go back to work tomorrow. I will be teleworking, or at least attempting to telework. Hopefully no IT issues. <laughs> um, so I'll be doing that, but I want to just still treat this like a regular Sunday and reset. Dishes are going, my bedding's already in the washer, next will go in my laundry, then the kids can start on their laundry, um, and so on. And we'll do floors and stuff, well, they'll be doing most of it because we're not gonna have a repeat of yesterday. I really need to let my body heal. So that's what we're gonna do, and then maybe if I have a chance to, today will be the day I get to go to the grocery store because again, Part of me is like, maybe I should wait till Monday when it won't be quite as packed, but it's already Christmas break here. It's, it's going to be packed. Also, I keep switching. <laughs> I keep switching hands because I also switched cameras because my Canon G7X wanted to be a little asshole last week. <laughs> and, um, oh my God, you guys will learn. I, I curse a lot and I, try to not do it on here a whole lot because I, I just try not to but it's just I'm, I'm done <laughs> but anyway my other Canon camera was being a jerk and I, I don't know what I did I hit something on the screen and I have to check all the settings and I don't have the patience for that either so I just switched cameras I was like well we'll just we'll just deal with it that, that's what we're gonna do and I'm gonna keep trying to not look at the viewfinder on this one because it's all the way to the right of me Yes, um, so <laughs> that's what I'm doing. And I'm enjoying looking at my plants right now. None of them are dying currently. All right, so I did it. <laughs> I got dressed and I'm in my car and I'm going to pick up these groceries and I do have to make one additional stop at 
Dollar Tree because I bought gifts for all of my coworkers and their gifts don't fit in the gift bags that I got them. Um, it's actually that the gift bags are like way too big, like irrationally big, like five times bigger than they need to be. So I, I ordered the wrong thing. It's like totally my fault. I don't know why my hat looks whatever. Um, there's something, dear God. Okay. Um, so anyway, I was just gonna pop in there really quick and get maybe even some candy for the stockings. We don't do like expensive gifts in the stockings. We really don't do gifts in the stockings at all. Just, just candy. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. My hat looks weird. Like it's misshaped. I wonder if when I washed it, why is there like lint? Okay. <laughs> Um, anyway, so we just do candy in the stockings. That, that's just how we roll. So I could have gotten my kids to do the grocery thing. I know someone might ask. However, there are things on this list for the things that I'm making for Christmas that they might not even know what it is or where it is. And I, I just, I have the store memorized, so I know exactly where I need to go, which is also why I didn't do a grocery order because some of the things it was like, I would go to type it in and I don't know if I'm just writing it down in like the Puerto Rican way that we say it, but it was like, not found. I'm like, anyway, <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. I was very detailed with my list so that it was extremely efficient, like by aisle so that I'm not having to go everywhere because honestly, my leg just can't handle it. I, and I'm so frustrated with it. I was, um, messaging my friend Jen on Instagram and I was like, I'm just so frustrated. I I'm frustrated with my body because my heart feels great, but my leg is like all kinds of messed up. And I checked in the mirror as I was getting dressed to see how the bruising was doing and it is literally from like the middle of my pubic area all the way over to my hip is bruised. So, um, and you know how bruising is. If you're seeing it on the outside, it's it's probably a good indication that the, the bruising is very deep inside. I'm, and the issue is that they didn't do anything wrong. It's that I bruise very easily and it takes me a long time to heal and I'm just annoyed. I have no patience <laughs> in case you can't tell. So I did put on a little bit of makeup though so that I could feel a little bit more human. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna get these groceries and try not to annoy my own self <laughs> at this point. <laughs> I made it, groceries are done. We, we, it's just me. I went to Dollar Tree, got the bags that I needed, and yeah, I'm gonna head in the house. The kids are gonna come out and help with the groceries. I should say one kid, because Kayla decided to go get us some Starbucks. I'm not mad about it at all. All right, we're getting everything put away right now, but you guys will never believe what I found at our Kroger. Clorox wipes, like, when I saw them on the shelf, I was like, let me reread the label. Is this something else? Like, <laughs> but I actually found them and I got two is our limit um, on things like this. I, sometimes the things that I'm saying in 2020, like still shock me. <laughs> so I did grab the two. I honestly haven't seen Clorox wipes or even Lysol wipes in maybe four or five months in the store. So um, I was talking to the grocery or the cashier and I told her, I said, I can't believe that you guys had these. I was pleasantly surprised. And she said that they actually had an issue with a gentleman coming in at like five in the morning when their stuff would get put up on the shelf. And that she's like, we get it every day, but we actually had someone coming in and buying an entire case. Like the second it was put on the shelf every single day day at the same time. I'm just, I'm so thankful. <laughs> like, I am just so thankful. I uh, just, yeah, I'm so happy. So I don't know if you guys have had a chance to try the salted caramel mocha, but um, it is definitely my favorite drink this season. All right, so I am just sitting here enjoying some coffee. Still, it takes me a while to drink my coffee. I'm just, that's just how I am. But um, I am getting ready to make, let me put this down and not spill it all over myself. I am getting ready to make some sofrito. So it's like a, um, I don't really know how to describe it in English, but it is like a, 
a base, like a base that we use in a lot of Latin cooking for like rice, soups, stews, uh, like everything. <laughs> um, honestly, I've never made it myself. I have normally either ordered it from someone who makes it like outside of their home because that's always the best or um, my mom has made it. And I don't obviously have her here to make it with me, so she gave me her recipe. I got everything for it. I've, I've never made it myself, but I am excited to try it. And the reason I'm making it today on Sunday before Christmas is because I need it for some stuff that I'm making for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And um, I really want like the flavors of everything to like really infuse and not just be so blah. So I feel like it really needs to sit in a container together for uh, several days. So <laughs> I've never bought like the store-bought stuff. Like I've seen it on the shelves and I'm like, that looks very sketch. <laughs> so um, this year I was like, I know what I wanna make for all of our meals and it's gonna require sofrito and yeah. Um, I think that's what we're gonna do. I just, we've reached that part of the day where we've already had lunch. We had some grilled cheese, it was, fantastic. I feel like that's always like the perfect little bit of comfort food. The only thing I have left to do is I need to run the Roomba down here and I need to get to planning. I have not planned out the next week, the week of Christmas, and I, I just need to get that done. And I'm not even sure if I want to film it. Like, um, Kayla was in the kitchen earlier and she was like, do you really need to film it? Like, you have enough videos. Like, how does she know this? I don't know, but she was right. So I might give myself the gift of not filming a plan with me, which I don't think I've done <laughs> in wow, at, at least a year. I don't know, a year or two. I've always posted, filmed and posted a plan with me at least every single week for years. <laughs> anyway, it, it might be nice to sit and, and not film it. It's, it's like foreign to me now. <laughs> but anyway, it also gives me a chance to have the days of Vlogmas be a little bit more caught up for you guys because I did start filming on, did I film Friday? I can't remember if I filmed Thursday or Friday. I've lost track. But I know that my videos have gone up a few days behind compared to how some folks are getting it up like the next day. Um, I did mine to where I was a few days behind simply because I wasn't filming on the weekends. And now... Here we are the Sunday before Vlogmas, and it's time to get some things uh, wrapped up. <laughs> so anyway, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. I'm going to put this camera down and relax. So I am done with all of the cooking that I'm going to do for today. I am going to stick with my decision of not filming a plan with me, like a separate plan with me video, but I am going to start planning. Um, let me show you guys the kit that I'm picking and I'll kind of take you guys along with me. So it will kind of be like a plan with me, but I'm not going to set up my tripod and all of that stuff. I am just, I'm winding down for the day. I don't even, yeah, no, I don't want to edit a separate plan with me video. This is like... <laughs> The fast approaching effects of Vlogmas. I have been doing some massive rearranging in my office though. Like you can see back there is no longer the shelf that used to be back there that had like a bunch of washi on it and some books. I'm really wanting to just have like a more clean look to my office area. So I think, I think it's, it's, we're getting there. Now <laughs> if we rotate, pivot <laughs> all the way to this side. It's, it's getting there. I've decluttered a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, because I just am feeling very 
like it's interfering in my creativity just a little bit too much stuff so I've taken down a lot of things that were on that board back there rearrange this shelf it's okay I'm okay with it for now but I can see myself wanting to get rid of even more stuff so little by little if you saw it was on the floor right now you would be like that's not progress but it is progress <laughs> all right let's get to planning all right so this is the kit that I have picked from planner Kate and it is kit 268a let me see if my camera will pick it up there yep 268a a is just the um, the add-on sheet number, but if you search 268, you'll be able to find it. And one of the things that I have really loved that Kate is doing is that she's adding these like already printed holidays on there, which is great. Um, I'm a huge fan of it, so I really like it, but I ordered pretty much everything that goes with this kit, like all of the add-ons, things like that. Like I said in a previous plan with me, I have been ordering now the horizontal checklist add-on simply because that is actually what works in the moxie life now one of the things that i am changing this week is i am not going to use the Unibel signo pen that i just dropped i tried it out for this past week let me show you guys but honestly it just does not work well with my handwriting it was just too hard to write as small as i wanted to um, I like the look of it, especially when I like lettered some things, it was kind of okay. But for me, a larger nib pen isn't, especially in gel, isn't always very consistent. I do like the way that this week turned out, but I'm gonna go back to my favorite Sharpie S gel. Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you Baby, this year It's just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories All done planning it took a little bit longer than I thought it would because normally when I'm filming it it's like I'm up against the clock you know I'm up against like my camera stopping at a certain point and you just don't want the video to be super long but this way I was able to really like think and slow down and what's funny is my planner looks exactly how it would look whether I filmed it or not so I'm gonna show you guys really quick all right, so here we are. I did like include some checklists again, just because I kind of been really liking it. It's hard to believe that we are in the very last week in this Moxie Life planner. Like this is it. This is my last week in this planner. I'm excited to jump into the 2021 uh, Moxie Life planner. I even included that as one of the tasks that I kind of want to check in with each day this week. I don't really like want to overwhelm myself doing the um, like setting up of my moxie life because there is some goal setting prep work to do in there and I'm excited about that. So that's how this week looks. I really like it. It's super decorative because you know it's Christmas Eve. That's what Christmas Eve. It's Christmas week. That's what we do. <laughs> but I really like the way it came out. All right so I totally forgot to pick up the camera again. We made homemade pizzas. What else did I do after I filmed? Okay, so we finished taking some of the stuff that I had kind of dismantled in my office. We got that down to the garage for either trash or recycling, because I still have that broken HP printer. It's not even a broken HP printer. It's the stupid ink issue that they're currently having, but we brought that, that down to the garage and made homemade pizza. That was actually really, really good. And the rest of the night we 
we got through what three more episodes of Grey's Anatomy. We're on the season where um, Derek dies. Like the whole internet knows that he died, <laughs> but even I knew when I wasn't watching the show. So that's where we are at. And I have a bed to make. As you can see, I washed all my bedding earlier today, dropped it on my bed, and never came up here to um, finish putting it all back together. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I might end up editing tomorrow's vlog. I can always do it tomorrow morning. I did take more Tylenol because my right leg, my whole like right hip leg area is still uncomfortable and it gets worse as the day goes on because obviously I've moved more. So um, yeah, I need to like do nothing. I need to like make this bed and go straight to bed. So on that note, I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Thank you so much for joining me once again. Bye everyone. Oh,